Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another consistent face AI influencer workflow. This time we're going to be using Quen Edit. Uh, they have a new version coming out pretty soon, but we're using 2509 FP8. This workflow is going to allow you to give decent results with a consistent face influencer without training Alora. Now this is a workflow that I came up with. It uses the Quen Image Lightning 8-step Lora to make it quite quick. Uh, you have a text input, you have your reference face, and then it gives you something pretty close. Um, I wouldn't say it's one-to-one, -one, but it's pretty close and this workflow is very fast. So let's run one right now. Uh, I may speed it up, but you'll see. And there you go. So you can see how fast that is. Um, if you take this over into a detailer, such as my small zero upscaler and detailer, which I have for free at smallzero.io, you just need a Gemini API key. Uh, you can get that for free right now with any Gmail account. So this is what I used to actually upscale the original picture. So you could see a little bit smooth and glassy, and then you get more of the oil on the skin and the pores. And it, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty good for stuff like this. So let's go back to Comfy UI. So this workflow is very simple. So what I'm going to show you is the start to finish process of how you can do this. So the first thing that I like to do is create my influencer. So I have a tool called Prompt Alchemy. Now you might recognize this photo on the left here. That is my YouTube image. I didn't want to use the same photo again. So what I did was take her photo, put in my settings. So we're going to take this over to a one text to image workflow after, but we're just getting the prompt for now. So this is kind of a way where you can steal someone's look without a Laura or any complicated workflow. It's just going to describe the picture the best it can. Uh, for whatever checkpoint you're using. So we have WAN 2.2 selected, uh, WAN 2.2 14B text to image, which is what we're going to be doing today. This tool is available to anyone who is on my Patreon and my Patreon is free to join. Now this is a paid tool, but we do have a free community, a free Discord. Uh, come hang out. We'd love to see you there. All right. So we take that prompt and we go back to Comfy UI and we're going to generate it in the WAN 2.2 text to image. This workflow is also available on my Patreon. Now you can use this with any image generator you want to, Mid Journey, Flux, but we're just going to do one today because it is uh, one of my favorites. So you can use that tool for anything you want, but I'm just showing you how to generate your base image. You might already have something. Okay. So as I said before, it's not perfect, but it gives you kind of a general outline. We have a brunette with strong features, the pink ears and the choker. So this is going to be the image that we use. Now I'm going to go back to smallzero.io and I'm going to upload this photo. Okay, there she is. Let's just keep it natural, keep the grain low. We're gonna upscale it and gentle skin mode so it's not too crazy, not too many pores or hair or anything like that. So this takes a few seconds. And once again, you just use a Gemini API key. Uh, this is just available to anyone for free, just smallzero.io. Uh, all you need is a Gemini key. So this will take a few moments. Okay, that's all done. So that's our before. And then here's the after. You can see it's much more realistic. So we're actually going to use this image for our generations. So I'm going to download that. And then we're going to go back to Comfy UI. We're going to go to my Quen Edit Consistent Face Workflow, which is available on Patreon as well. So check that out. Okay, and let's upload that new face we upscaled. All right, there she is. And let's do a live generation. Okay, and there she is. Now that looks pretty good. Pretty consistent, got the same features. So you could take this and upscale it or bring this over to an image to video generator, whatever you want to do. But this is a really simple workflow. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, and this is not a workflow I created. This is from a friend of the channel. So this is by a friend of the channel, Ice Cube. He's got a great channel. Uh, he shared this workflow with our Discord. Uh, so I wanted to show you what he made. I use this for Laura training sometimes. And in this case, we're going to be using it for generating different angles of your influencer. So let's move over to that. Now that is available on my Patreon for free and also available on his YouTube channel and Patreon as well. I highly recommend you check out his channel. Uh, he's quite good and yeah, it's cool to support other creators in the community. So let's take the image we just made and bring it over to his workflow. Okay, so what this is gonna do is generate a number of different portraits all at once. So this is great for Laura preparation, uh, if you need different angles of your influencer, you know, looking left, looking up, looking down, uh, it really helps uh, synergize with the workflow I created. 
as well, because sometimes you don't want to have them looking directly at the camera and you don't want that workflow to guess what they look like. So this one is specialized at different camera angles. So we're going to run this. This is also on Quen Edit. This takes a few minutes, so we're going to fast forward. Okay, looks like that's all finished, so let's check it out. So as you can see, this is quite good for generating multiple angles, and this is great if you want to turn this into a consistent face Laura. This is exactly the kind of data that you want for your Laura training. Now, the one thing I would say is these aren't exactly hyper-realistic. They do have a bit of a glossy look to them just due to the speed and, and the four-step Laura that uh, Ice Cube has implemented in this workflow. So I would take it over to the upscaler and cherry-pick the best ones if I was you. You could run this multiple times as well. But yeah, that's a good way to do it. And then you can bring it back here. So if you have looking left or right or whatever else, you can paste it in and then change the prompt up. So that's a really simple, consistent face workflow start to finish that I like to show you guys. So we have a few tools that you can use. Check out my boy Ice Cube. Uh, come join our Patreon. It's free. Hop in the Discord. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for stopping by.